What's happening everybody, Box Jellyfish here and today I will be covering the KPG Extinction Event. This will be the first video of my new series about mass extinctions. The Cretaceous Paleogene or KPG Extinction Event was a sudden mass extinction of three quarters of the plant and animal species on Earth, occurring approximately 66 million years ago. With the exception of certain animal orders such as turtles and crocodilians, no tetrapods with a mass over 25 kilograms survived. It marked the end of the Cretaceous period and with it the end of the Mesozoic era, opening the Cenozoic era that continues today. In the geologic record, the KPG event is marked by a thin layer of sediment called the KPG boundary which can be found throughout the world in marine and terrestrial rocks. The boundary clay shows unusually high levels of the metal iridium, which is more common in asteroids than in the Earth's crust. As originally proposed in 1980 by a team of scientists led by Luis Alvarez and his son Walter, it is now generally thought that the KPG extinction was caused by the impact of a massive asteroid 10 to 15 kilometers wide 66 million years ago, which devastated the global environment mainly through a lingering impact winter which halted photosynthesis in plants and plankton. Impact winter is a hypothesized period of prolonged cold weather due to the impact of a large asteroid or comet on the Earth's surface. The impact hypothesis, also known as the Alvarez hypothesis, was bolstered by the discovery of the 180 km Chicxulub crater in the Gulf of Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula in the early 1990s, which provided conclusive evidence that the KPG boundary clay represented debris from an asteroid impact. The fact that the extinctions occurred simultaneously provides strong evidence that they were caused by the asteroid. A 2016 drilling project into the Chicxulub Peak Ring confirmed that the peak ring was comprised of granite, which was ejected within minutes from deep in the earth, but contained hardly any gypsum, the usual sulphate-containing seafloor rock in the region. The gypsum would have vaporised and dispersed as an aerosol into the atmosphere, causing longer-term effects on the climate and food chain. In October 2019, researchers reported that the event rapidly acidified the oceans, producing ecological collapse and in this way as well, produced long-lasting effects on the climate and accordingly was a key reason for the end Cretaceous mass extinction. In January 2020, scientists reported new evidence that the extinction event was mostly a result of the asteroid impact and not volcanism. Other casual or contributing factors to the extinction may have been the Deccan traps and other volcanic eruptions, climate change and sea level change. There is clear evidence that sea levels fell in the final stage of the Cretaceous by more than at any other time in the Mesozoic era, which could be another cause for the extinction event. In some restriction stage rock layers from various parts of the world, the later layers are terrestrial, earlier layers represent shorelines, and the earliest layers represent seabeds. Marine regression also resulted in the loss of inland seas, such as the Western Interior Seaway of North America. The loss of these seas greatly altered habitats, removing coastal plains that 10 million years before had been host to diverse ecosystems and communities, such as those found in rocks of the Dinosaur Park formation. Another consequence was an expansion of freshwater environments, since continental runoff now had longer distances to travel before reaching oceans. While this change was favourable to freshwater vertebrates, those that prefer marine environments, such as sharks, suffered. Another cause for the KPG extinction event is the Deccan Traps. The release of volcanic gases 
particularly sulfur dioxide, during the formation of the Deccan Traps, may have contributed to climate change. Data points to an average drop in temperature of about 2 degrees Celsius in this period. Because of its magnitude, scientists have speculated that the gases released during the formation of the Deccan Traps played a major role in the Cretaceous Paleogene extinction event. It has been theorised that sudden cooling due to sulfurous volcanic gases released by the formation of the traps and toxic gas emissions may have contributed significantly to the KPG mass extinction. However, the current consensus among the scientific community is that the extinction was primarily triggered by the Chicxulub impact event in North America, which would have produced a sunlight blocking dust cloud that killed much of the plant life and reduced global temperatures. This cooling is called an impact winter. A wide range of species perished in the KPG extinction, the best known being the non-avian dinosaurs, including some of the most famous, such as Tyrannosaurus rex and Triceratops. It also destroyed a lot of other terrestrial organisms, including some mammals, birds, lizards, insects, plants, and all the pterosaurs. In the oceans, the KPG extinction killed off plesiosaurs and mosasaurs, and devastated teleostfish, sharks, mollusks, especially ammonites which became extinct, and many species of plankton. It is estimated that 75% or more of all species on Earth vanished. Yet the extinction provided evolutionary opportunities. In its wake, many groups underwent remarkable adaptive radiation. Adaptive radiation is a process in which organisms diversify rapidly from an ancestral species into a multitude of new forms, particularly when a change in the environment makes new resources available, alters biotic interactions, or opens new environmental niches. Mammals in particular diversified in the Paleogene, evolving new forms such as horses, whales, bats, and primates. In addition, teleostfish and perhaps lizards also radiated. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe, and until next time, goodbye.